Okay, for Hanan's birthday, we got uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Would you tell me, please, which way I ought to go from here? It's by this cat, <coughs> Lewis Carroll. And it's Hanan's, one of Hanan's many Thanks. birthday gifts that people don't give her. For what, what, what birthday is it right now? Um, I got a rainbow Okay, but how old are you now? Eight. Who? Eight. Okay, well say it loud, say it proud. Eight! Okay, there you go. <laughs> so you want me to read the first one? Chapter one, page one. Let us find out what they say. Publisher's note, that's not it. Chapter <laughs> one, page one. Oh look, they get a, they get a picture of a... These yeah. kids used to insist that I read them everything. I wanted to read all the text on the cover. If there was a note well, from the publisher, was, was this voice? Well, why is this? Why is this guy bothering us? He <laughs> said what you wanted. This is the voice of nostalgia. This is it always comes in the background. I'm the house and I'm welcome. This, did, did you see that what the rabbit is wearing? Um, What's it's that? a jacket uh -huh. that has squares on it. Uh huh. And I'm thinking it's red and orange. Okay. You're thinking it's red and orange? Okay, great. Down the rabbit hole. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank. Meaning the bank of the river, I suppose. And of having nothing to do. Once or twice, she had peeped into the book her sister was reading. Would you do that? You do that sometimes. Pick somebody, peep. Peep into Raoul's book. Time. Peep into Raoul's book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the time. Uh -huh. But it had no pictures or conversations in it. Wow. It's a heavy book. <laughs> and what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversation? She was, <clears throat> so she was considering in her own mind, as well as she could, for the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid. <laughs> whether, the, whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies, when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran across by her. Huh. Albino rabbit. Albino. I think it's just a white rabbit. <laughs> ran, uh, uh, ran, uh, ran close to her, brother. So. There was nothing so very remarkable in that, nor did Alice think of it so very much. Out of the way to hear the rabbit say to herself, Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. When she thought it was afterwards, it occurred to her that she ought to have wondered at this, but at the time, it all seemed quite natural. When the rabbit said, oh dear, oh dear. Ah. But when the rabbit actually took a watch out of its waistcoat pocket, you know, the, the jacket she was, the jacket she said she was wearing, right? And looked at it, then hurried on, Alice started to, started to her feet. For it flashed across her mind that she had never before seen a rabbit with either a waistcoat pocket or a watch to take out of it, and burning with curiosity, that would be you, burning, you're very curious about this, right? Yeah. Okay. She ran across the field after it. And fortunately, and fortunately, I, 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 I thought that sounded like unfortunately, but and fortunately, when it when just, uh, was just in time to see, it popped down a long, rabbit hole under the hedge. You know what a hedge is? No. It's like a like a like a bush. Mm -hmm. I mean just like a horizontal bush. A so bush. like this. Yeah. Like that. Or like this. Uh, yeah both. Both. Yeah. In another moment down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Oh, that's a curious young lady. Yeah. She's probably your age. Yeah, she probably is. 
The rabbit hole went straight on uh, like a tunnel for some way and then dipped suddenly down, so suddenly that Alice had not a moment to think without stopping herself before she found herself falling down a very, 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 very deep well. Well, it doesn't say all those various here. Just I'm just I'm exaggerating. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm figuring as she's falling down and she's going oh, 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 oh. <coughs> either the well was very deep or she fell very slowly. Very slowly. See, there's two possibilities. You know what I'm saying? Okay, for she had plenty of time as she went down to look about uh, to look about her and to wonder what was going to happen next. Ooh. 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 Mm -hmm. First she tried to look down and make out what she was coming to, but it was too dark to see anything. It's a dark hole. A dark, deep, 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 deep well, which is a dark hole. So like, has he six feet? Boy, much more than six feet, it seems. So I, thought, I, I, well, I thought she was doing metrics. 100. Well, I thought you was doing metrics in school. What's metrics? The, the, the centimeters and, the, and, the, and that, that kind of thing you were talking about? You haven't done that before. You haven't done that yet? No. So you learned, you learned feet and inches in, in South Africa first? No. What did you learn? How did you, why did you do that? Feet and... Um, you know, YouTubers, they, uh. most of them are like Americans. <laughs> YouTube to the rescue. Okay. First she tried to look down and make out what she was coming to. But it was too dark to see anything. Then she looked aside, side as well, dead, and noticed that they were filled with with cupboards, with cup, yeah, cupboards and bookshelves here and there. She saw maps and pictures hung upon around pegs. Okay, she then she uh, she took down a jar from one of the of one of the shelves as she passed. It was labeled. Orange marmalade. Oh, so she was falling down the rail and she had enough time, because I guess she was going slow or whatever, to pull one of these jars off the shelves that she saw. Okay? But to her great disappointment, it was empty. The orange marmalade jar was empty. She did not like to drop, um, she did not like to drop the jar for, for fear of killing somebody, because the hole was very deep. So, uh, so managed to put it into one of her one of the cupboards as she went past. So she just put it back in some other cupboard. Somebody's going to get upset. That's not where it was in the beginning. You know how you're supposed to put your stuff back where, you, where it's supposed to belong? But she didn't do that right now. She put it someplace else. You see what I'm saying? Well, well that might not be the, the actual point of the story, like as the, as the chapter. It might be something else, but maybe the person will get upset and maybe they won't. Okay, maybe. M maybe. <laughs> well, thought Alice to herself, after such a fall as this, I shall think nothing of tumbling down stairs. <laughs> How brave they'll all think me at home. Why, I wouldn't say anything about it, even if I fell off the top of the house. Which was uh, very likely true. Mm. Down, down, down. Would the fall never come to an end? I wonder how many miles I've fallen by this time. She doesn't do metrics either, I guess. All uh, right. She said, she said aloud. I do metrics. I just haven't gone that far yet. I understand. I'm just saying in the book here, they say miles. It's, a, it's, it's from, it's an English book. Published in the UK, the author is English. I don't know why they say in miles. They do kilometers, no? Oh, that's right, you didn't go that far. All right. Where was that? Okay. She then said aloud, I must be getting somewhere near the, near the center of the earth. Let me see. That would be 4,000 miles down, I think. For you see, Alice had learned several things of this sort in her lessons in the school, in the schoolroom. And though this was not a very good opportunity showing off her knowledge, as though, oh, oh yeah, as there was no more to listen, there was no one to listen to her, 
since it was good practice to say it or say it over to somebody else, I suppose. Yes, that's about the right distance, but then I wonder what latitude and longitude. You know what latitude and longitude? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lo la 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 <coughs> latitude and longitude. I think I'm not really sure. You have to look this up on your YouTube, what you're going to do. <laughs> oh, Google. Or oh, your tea. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that latitude is like horizontal. And longitude is like vertical. I think. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And where they intersect is where you find out where it is. Where they come together, you find out where it is. Okay, I've got to. Uh, what latitude? Uh, Alice had no idea what latitude was. Oh, look at that! Or longitude. Let's see what's happening. Let me go to, I got to turn the page. What longitude either? But though they were, uh, but though, but thought they were nice grand words to say. See, she's like me. She said it. Don't know what it means. It just sound good. Okay. Presently, she began again. I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth. How funny it's, it'll seem to come out among the people that walk with their hands, uh, with their heads downwards. The and and, and, and ooh, what is this? Empathies. I don't know what that is. The an antipathies. I don't know what that is. Okay. Well, what is this? I think she was rather glad. There was uh, uh, there was no one listening to this, as it didn't sound at all the right word. Uh, I didn't think so either. I don't know what that word is. What didn't sound? The the antipathies or whatever that word. Antipathies. Whatever that word was. And pathesies. I don't know what that word. Pathesies. Yeah, but I shall but I shall have to ask them what the name of the country is. You know, please, ma'am, is this New Zealand or Australia? So she was going back there. I would rather be in Hmm. And she tried to curtsy as she spoke. Fancy curtsying as you're falling through the air. And voila. Voila. Hey. Do you think you shall uh, do you think you could manage it? And what an ignorant little girl she'll think me for asking. No, it'll never do. This uh, it will never do to ask. Perhaps, <coughs> perhaps I shall be written up somewhere. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I'm going to stop there. You want me to keep on going? No, thank you. I thought so. You can you can now continue whenever you wish. You can do it out loud or silently. I think you should read it aloud from there. Okay. Okay, so that was the, this is the birthday gift that Hanan got. Can I show my hands at least? Sure, you can show your hands at least. This is Hello. Hanan. Well, you can hold, you can hold the book. You don't have to, there you go. Hold the book. There you go. That's your, that's, that's, that's the birthday gift today. You got other gifts, but that's one. This is the one for me, because I like to give out books. Thank you. There you go. All right. That's a gift for me. T mm -hmm. from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. <laughs> Mr. Anthony J. Dutton. There it is. <laughs>